a proper sack attack today. What do you say? Okay, it was a very interesting game. It's, uh, I think something like new idea. I played in D5. It is very dangerous. I mean, it is very risky for black. But uh, I tried to play interesting chess. I see how Fabiano play in this tournament. <laughs> it was not easy to play solid chess. I just uh, think it's better to play something risky. Win or lose like this. I mean, but I think he was uh, he played very good in opening, but. Uh, some mistakes, uh, and after I got good position in the middle game, and I won. I think chess fans all over the world are very happy with your win today because suddenly Norway chess is back on. It's it's a competition again. Yeah, I think it's uh, of course it's a very important moment uh, because Fabi played fantastic chess in first four games. Uh, today he also played not bad. I mean, just I think something he blunder. I mean, a middle game. Uh, of course, uh, uh, I hope the tournament will be interesting and uh, I mean, another players also will get some chance for first place. I'll say it like it's meant to be said. The first four rounds, Caruana played excellent chess today, Mamadiarov played excellent chess. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thanks. You keep grinding it out in this game, uh, Hikaru, and then you find the breakthrough eventually here. How would you summarize it yourself? Yeah, I mean, I think it was a very interesting game. I, I mean, the, the, it was very similar to the Gukash game. That at some point, I started using time, and every move that was played by uh, by my opponent was not the move I was expecting. And finally, I just started moving quickly. Um, I mean, it's it hard to judge. I, I felt like maybe I was a little bit worse, but then once I got this bishop g5 move, I thought maybe it's equal, potentially better. And then, I mean, Ariane just, uh, he blundered this bishop takes b3, c4. And after that, I think it's probably just positionally lost. So, I mean, it's obviously a heartbreak for him to basically lose in, because of one one bad move. Um, but, you know, it's, that's kind of the spirit of chess, and you just play and see how it goes, and it worked out for me. Make sure you wish him a happy birthday, at least afterwards, uh, even though he got crushed. Oh, it's his birthday today? Ah, even, even worse. Yeah, I mean, there's this thing where I think normally on your birthday you do much worse. Almost everybody has a very bad score. I mean, I remember I played the London Chess Classic maybe 2017 or something. I just blundered on move 11 with the white piece against Wesley, lost my birthday, so I, I know how it feels. I mean, I think saying that, that I crushed him, though, is quite unfair because I think he played quite well. It's just he played one bad move, and one bad move was, was really different, but that's top level chess. Um, but still, I'm sure he'll, you know, it's a birthday. I'm sure he can, he can enjoy himself, so, yeah, that's what it is. Congratulations. Thank you.